Hi Taurus, this is your February forecast. If you'd like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change in any area that's holding you back, do use the link below and book in with me now. You're just starting a one uh, year to 13 month um, cycle, so now is the time to be able to uh, get over things that are blocking you with that. Uh, do watch your sun, moon and rising for more details um, for this current reading. So Taurus, it looks like your career, uh, where you stand uh, with your finance are going to be what you're focused on all of this month and this is Mercury retrograde so nothing is going to be final between now and the mid of next month uh, this is a planning uh, draft of a B and C making sure we've got all those things covered we are going to have a frustrating time going back and forth back and forth looking at the details dates being uh, changed uh, the role being changed uh, missed appointments missed emails you know the finer details back and forth back and forth but that's okay because it looks like things are finally on the way you do have the best chance in 13 years where it comes to your career, but it looks like formal education or expanding on what you're already doing, perhaps even something in an alternative range or something that is foreign or foreigners, incorporating that into your career. There is going to be a challenge come up to you in your career, but there's an amazing solution to be there for you. When it comes to your career study and finance, we do have the six of wands. Now, this is a yes where it comes to your finance or with a job. So this is a yes here unfortunately you do need to look at the small details and also keep in mind that the role might change the time might change the length might change something there is going to change perhaps if you're signing up for something be prepared that it's going to be more or less than what you thought it was going to be. So this is the age of, I'm signing up for that um, that uh, phone company and they told me this is what I'm going to get. So I sign up and I commit to it and then I find out, hang on a second, it doesn't actually involve that as well, which is what I actually need. So I'm not saying this is a no to that because you've definitely got a yes. But do look at those details. But formal education, looking outside what you have done, this is going to be your best bet. Now, when it comes to home, it looks like we're committing to somewhere where we can be at home, but it looks like this not be as long as what you thought. It sounds like your plans that you had might fall through or will not be as long as you thought they were because it feels like it's temporary based. Maybe if you are moving out of where you are, you get a little bit more time, some leniency there, or there's a gap in the middle because there is transition here when it comes to your um, your home. Now, when, if you're living with family or flatmates, be careful of the roles, be careful of uh, property, be careful of who's trying to get away with something or if there's something not quite right here. So just keep an eye on that. Maybe it's time for a clear expectation conversation. When it comes to your health, and this is the only part of the reading this month that does stand out, is that there is an upheaval and a sudden shock and a sudden change. There is burning here. 16 that would be seven so it could be in the ovaries lower back kidneys veins and buttocks um here um that's not for everybody but this is a sudden you do have the tower card here the best part about this is, is that you are in a period where you get the best solutions you've got things lined up for you where you have the planets backing you through and this is a 12 to 13 month progress for you in your career so any challenges that come up uh, in your house are here so that you can get on top of that. I did pull another card to find out what are uh, where, and I do get another 10, 10 of wands. Now, there is pressure on you, on your shoulders. So this might be something, like I said, that is stress-related. This also, for a small select few of you, could be from stress-related um, work that you've done previously, which has created this within you. Regardless of where this happens on your body, there is pressure involved um, and you can't see where it's coming from and it's stopping you from being able to get out and socialize. Again, when we're looking at the ninth house, we're looking at the psychological, we're looking at the things that we've built our foundations on uh, for all areas of our life um, that we spring ourselves from and it is psychological. Again, we've got stress that's causing this. Ninth house is also alternative remedies. So getting out there, having a look, what can I do to help with this? Because we need to relieve that pressure. It could be, you know, like swelling or burning in those areas that I'm talking. There's pressure here somewhere. When it comes to your love, there is an apology out there. If you are not in a relationship or you're not got anything on your sphere, it looks like a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus there is, um, you know, extending um, the hand out there for you. Um, and 
you know, dating or it's an apology uh, being out there. For a small select few of you, um, this is about uh, come and, and stay. So if we're in a separate, uh, we're not living in the same area kind of thing. It's about coming to stay and maybe that's where you're going to get this lead on for your career. So looking at this on a whole, while I get your adoring virtue messages from the angels, um, don't do any shortcuts when it comes to your health and don't ignore it. It looks like you are looking on where you can commit, but you're waiting for your career to do so. Great time for your career, um, but there is going to be some sort of learning or formal education involved there. It looks like there is a helping hand out there when you need it, uh, and also there's an apology there for you. Again, your health and uh, Raphael has come in. This one here in this particular reading is talking about stress and looking after you, time out for you, and a little bit of spoiling which doesn't require a lot of money. Archangel Raphael is pointing out that this month it is about your uh, health, which is a reoccurring issue. So maybe you've had it before, but this time it's suddenly blown up. Serena, we're talking about that abundance, and we're talking about that right here. Uh, and also we've got this um, other in our life giving us that support that we need during this difficult time. Crystal says you cannot see what's over the side of that mountain. Maybe this has been a back and forth, you know, with this career I do and then I don't and then I started and then I didn't like it and then I want to do this but I'm too frightened because it seems like a huge change from what I've already done or a tangent change. Everything's happening for a reason, maybe a little bit of pressure. Why do I keep getting pressure on you? A little bit of pressure behind you is going to get you to push because you have all the solutions and all the benefits that you need right now to get there. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.